Today, we're gonna to do some off-roading in the pine. I really want to get down to the water down there. You can see there's some trails that kind of weave through the trees there. And I think one of them gets me to the water. So let's see if we can make it. I'm also really curious to see how this thing does from a range standpoint when you get off on some of these trails. So I will say the nimbleness so far, I mean, I feel like it's an advantage through this stuff. You can kind of dodge rocks. Woo. Bigger tire would make this a little bit more stable for sure, but it's still pretty stable. Ooh, let's take a break here figure out how I'm gonna make it down here. We're getting a little closer. I am definitely not an expert at board sports. I've never snowboarded. I only skateboarded for the first time two years ago when I got a boosted board. That was my first, that was my first skateboard. First time I rode the skateboard, I had to take it up to the parking lot and for literally a week, I mean, I just went back and forth up and down the parking lot, up and down, up and down, up and down. And uh, finally got confident enough to go on the sidewalk and then eventually a road. And then, you know, two weeks ago, I was taking a boosted board down the streets of Manhattan with my nephew. And I got a one wheel last October. So it's been less than a year with the one wheel. It's one of those things, if you haven't ridden any of these boards before and you have no board sports experience, don't let that stop you from trying. It's really fun. Down or an up choice, I'm gonna choose up here. Let's see. Looks like I chose wisely. You have chosen wisely. Oh yeah, I like these grassy trails. Too much grass. Made it, made it to the water. Now I gotta see if I can get this thing back. Uh, let's see how the battery's looking. It looks like about half, so we'll see at the end how far this ended up being and what my range was on this guy. Hopefully I don't have to walk and hopefully it doesn't start to rain. <laughs> I would, I would love to know what I did wrong here. I think that I just ended up having my weight a little too far forward and standing kind of tall. And then that way when I hit that divot, you know, I wasn't able to react fast enough. But like I said, I am not an expert here. So let me know what you guys think. Damages here. Doesn't look too bad. Let's flip her over. 
Got some scuffs on the front, but those are replaceable, so that's easy. I definitely wouldn't mind getting some float plates to keep that looking nice. Same thing back here. I mean, it does look like the bumper takes the brunt of it, which those are replaceable, so that's good. This stuff, I mean, considering all the rocks I went over, that's not that bad. The tire looks pretty good. Oh, and my wife just put on these, uh, what are these, these rail guards this week. You can see there is some bubbles there. She said it was not super easy to put this thing on there. Uh, we might try to upgrade to the ones from the float life guys and maybe get some float plates too. We'll see. All right, now, let's see. Look, we're not in orange yet, so we must have some juice left. Let's see what the range was. We are at, so you can see that, uh, 28% left i've gone almost three miles doing the bluetooth reconnect thing use 70 percent of the battery so yeah so it looks like we could probably go another maybe mile or two um so maybe about five miles i'd say with this with just about that was about 100 percent off road Let's see if my relive app says the same thing it just says 2.4 miles but uh but yeah i mean I'm a sweaty mess, <laughs> so, but uh, that was all I was going to do for today. It's just I really wanted to see what kind of range I could get, see if I could find a place to get to the lake. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to charge this guy up, and we got to pack up this guy and get back home. But uh, if you like this video and you want to see more one-wheel stuff like this, consider subscribing to the channel if you're not already. Give us a like, thumbs up, all that good stuff. Um, and if, you're, if you came to this channel because you wanted to see more on the lazy days and RVing and all that kind of stuff, stick around. There will be more videos for that coming up soon, I promise. Um, and then bike stuff too, so i got to get some more e-bike action out. So stay tuned. And yeah, have a good one, guys. Oh, fail. <sighs> Pine tree. <laughs> chose poorly. He chose poorly. Hi. Hi.